everyone. I hope you are fine and keeping safe. I'm Teacher Rose. Today we are going to learn how to write a letter that is composition writing, but letter writing. So our objective today is by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to write a formal letter. Now this one is applicable from standard six to eight. From standard six to eight. So there are two types of letters. One is the one we call informal letter. This one is the one that we normally write to our parents, to our friends, to our relatives. But we are not going to dwell on that one. Today, we want to look at the formal letter, how to write the formal letter. So we are going straight away to look out the layout, to look at the layout of a formal letter. Number one, we want to look at the address because we need to write the address. We need to write the address. Where do you write the address of this? Where do you write the address? So when you're writing this letter, you are the writer. So the address, you are going to write it here. This is the sender's address. Make sure you write your name first here. You write your name first here. Then you write the address here, like that. You write the address first and the date. Before you write the date, you need to skip a line because the date is not part of the address. After you have written the date, you will come down here, you skip a line. You skip a line and then you write the recipient's address. The recipient's address. Now, before you write the recipient's address, Of course, it will appear just below the date, but on this other side here. So before you write the address, you need to write the title of the recipient. For example, if you are writing that letter to the head teacher, then it means you will start by writing here the title, that is the head teacher. Or if you are writing that letter, to a company, then you will say maybe the managing director here. You start by writing here the head teacher of, what, of which school, so you write the school there. Then after that, you are going to write the salutation. You are going to write the salutation. Now, what is the salutation? The salutation is the formal greetings showing courtesy. The formal greetings showing courtesy. For example, if the head teacher is a male, then you are going to say, dear sir. You write here, dear sir. But if it's a female, you are going to say, dear madam. But if you are not sure, then you are going to say, dear sir or madam. Dear sir or madam. After salutation, you are going to write the reference of the letter. You are going to write the reference of the letter. What do we mean by reference? This is the title. You are going to write the title of the letter. Why you are writing that letter? For example, if, if it is a letter you are asking for apology from your teacher, you will say reference, re-apology. So that is the title. And it must be written in a capital letter. So the reference must be written in capital letters and then you underline using a ruler. From the reference, you will now come to the body. So the body should be brief with only relevant information. And remember, when you are writing this official letter, you must use polite language, then correct English. Any grammatical errors will give bad impression of you. 
So from there, because you have written the body, now the last bit is ending. Now how do you end when you are writing this official letter? Now you are going to write yours faithfully. Here you can either say yours faithfully or yours sincerely. After you have written yours faithfully here, you sign. You don't write your name first. So you sign. For example, if I am the one writing, you, uh, you write my signature there. Then my full name, you write it there. Your full name. So, because I am the writer, then it means I have to sign this letter. I have to sign this letter. So, learners, when you are writing this letter, know that it's an official letter. It is an official letter. So it is very important to look at these areas. You look at the address, it must be there. Your name first, and then the address, and the date. So the date should appear just after the address. You skip a line because the date is not part of the address. Then you have the recipient's address, then salutation, reference, body, and ending. Till next time, goodbye, and remember to keep safe.